Good morning. Blessed New Year. You don't know what to say. Anyway, hail, Holy Mother, you gave birth to the King who rules heaven and earth forever. It's beginning in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring each of us one day to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of the Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant we pray that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is a reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look kindly upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among the nations your salvation. May God bless us in his mercy. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on earth you guide. May God bless us in his mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us. May all the ends of the earth fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. The second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into your heart, into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you're no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Amen. 
My brothers and sisters, may our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message they had been told to them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what has been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherd returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. And so today, of course, we celebrate the Feast of Mary, Mother of God. And the church starts the year by saying everything started with Mary. Now, of course, everything started with God first and what God decided, but then he chose the woman, Mary, to bring salvation. Again, as Eve said, no one brought death to the world. Mary's yes brought salvation to the world. And so we can do everything because of Mary. So we have Mary be our mother. And when Mary's our mother and God is our father, we can cry out to God in who we are, beloved sons and daughters of the Father. Again, the church teaches from the very beginning the way we are to pray is Abba, Father. Now again, If we're not praying Abba each day, if we're saying these other prayers that we, some saint taught us, and oh yeah, I pull out my book and I say this prayer of this saint, that's fantastic. But God says you're supposed to pray Abba, Father. That's what we are supposed to pray by the command of God, by the Spirit of God who lives inside of us. So, Do we do as God says when we pray? Do we cry out, Abba, Father? Or do we say, oh, almighty, eternal God, you on this thing on St. Bridget said, if I do this, I will get this and this. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Let's begin this year in what God tells us. We are to cry out every day, Abba, Father. After you've done that, then you can go on and say those other prayers some saint taught you. Very nice. Let's listen to God first. Then we can listen to the others. You got it? You get it? Are you going to do it? Some of you are not, but hey, I told you what I was supposed to tell you. You now have to listen or not listen. But I did my job. Let us stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and a life in the world to come. Amen. Believing in this God who would rather die than live without any of us, let's now turn to him and give to him these our needs and our petitions. We pray as always for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, 
We pray for all bishops, all priests, all religious women and men, that they would cry out every day through the power of the Holy Spirit, Abba, Father. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all world leaders, they would work for peace and for justice. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the end of the curse of abortion. Every abortion clinic would close. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick that God in his mercy would heal them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have died. Remember all the poor souls in purgatory. Remember all the priests and religious on this their anniversary of their death. And we pray most especially this morning at this Mass for James Zimmerman, for whom this Mass is being offered, that they would all know God's life and love forever now in heaven. We pray to the Lord. And as always, we'll offer up this Mass also for you and for your intentions. So in the silence of your hearts, tell Jesus what you need and we'll offer up this Mass also for you and those intentions. We pray to the Lord. Father, Abba, thank you for adopting us and making us your children. Thank you for the gift of our mother Mary. May we live as your beloved children all the days of our lives. We beg you these things, Holy Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God who is our almighty Father. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginning of your grace, in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in the humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to pour it out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, O Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, and all the clergy. <coughs> Excuse me. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him, in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Offer each other now his peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those of you at home unable to receive Jesus in the most blessed sacrament physically, I'll receive Jesus physically in your name. But as always, I ask you to make an act of faith and an act of spiritual communion. Begin by just saying, Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that you are God. And I believe that you became a man, that you died on the cross to take away our sins. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for me. Jesus, I believe that you're truly present in the most blessed sacrament. And since I cannot receive you now physically, I beg you, come into my heart spiritually. Come into my heart. Take control of my life. Be my Lord and God and Savior. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and make me your disciple. I love you, Lord Jesus Christ, and I surrender my life to you forever as you have surrendered your life for me. Now just close your eyes and ask the Lord to embrace you. Feel Jesus put his arms around you. Put your head on his chest. Listen to his heartbeat. Every time his heart beats, he says, I love you. Let Jesus Christ now love you. May the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus keep us all safe for eternal life. Amen.
We have received this heavenly sacrament. Let us pray. (laughs) Sorry. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Let us stand and pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we receive, we rejoice to proclaim with the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your only son and mother of the church, through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your head and beg for God's blessing. May God, the source and origin of all the blessings, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout this year. Amen. May he, and give your, may he give you integrity in your life, endurance and hope, and perseverance and charity, with holy patience to the end. Amen. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace. Grant these, your, your prayers in this and in every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Have a blessed day.